Welcome to the next video in our forest management series. Last time, we walked through the process of planting new trees on a harvested site. This time, Brian and Pete will tell us everything we need to know about early stand management and the wide variety of benefits that young forests provide. Hello, my name is Brian Ardall. I'm the senior forester here at our North Bend Timberlands office. In the first two years after planting, our primary goal is to ensure the survival of as many trees as possible. There are many threats to young trees at this stage, including everything from planting shock, competition from other vegetation, drought, and animals. We do our best to help the seedlings gain the advantage over these threats. One of the most important things we do to give our forests a head start is to control the vegetation that competes with our seedlings. Seedlings are relatively small in the first two years and will easily be overtopped by tall grasses and fast growing hardwoods and shrubs that are taking advantage of the new access to sunlight. This competition will kill our seedlings without interference. In nature, it would take decades for a Douglas fir or loblolly pine forest to regenerate because of these competing species. We speed up that process by using targeted herbicides. The chemicals we use are carefully regulated to be safe for use both by the people doing the application and the trees we want to protect. At this point in the cycle, we use two methods of application of herbicides, backpack spraying and the highly targeted hack and squirt method. Backpack spraying is used to knock down grasses and shrubs. Hack and squirt refers to the method used on many hardwood species like maple and madrone that sprout from the base. A worker will make a cut in the stem of the tree with a machete and squirt a little bit of herbicide into the cut. This will control the tree until next year when the same stump will sprout again. But by then, our seedlings will be bigger and ready to compete for resources. Managing invasive species is also incredibly important in these early years. Invasive species are non-native species that are having a negative impact on the ecosystem they have been introduced to. In Oregon, species like Scotch Broom and Himalaya Blackberry can be devastating to a young stand of Douglas fir. In our timberlands in North Carolina and Virginia, Kudzu and exotic Wisteria are the primary invasive species. It's a constant battle to protect our young forests from these formidable competitors. Hi, I'm Pete Hancock, Roanoke Timberlands Manager for Roseburg. I lead our team of resource professionals that manage our property in Virginia and North Carolina. Once the young trees are past the two-year mark, we start taking measurements to monitor the growth of the stand. We enter this data into growth models that will predict when the stand will be at peak value, the volume of wood growing on the stand, and other important information for decision making. There is a host of different measurements we take, including height and diameter of the trees, the number of trees per acre, and their distribution, and types of competing brush, hardwoods, or other conifers. We also note animal damage and tree vigor. We use all this information to determine how healthy the young stand is and whether we need to take steps to help the trees be as successful as possible. Forests in this early management stage provide lots of non-timber benefits that are different than older forests. Wildlife love these open, sunny areas because they provide excellent food sources. Deer and elk are often seen browsing the vegetation. During spring, wildflowers bloom and attract all sorts of pollinators. Songbirds are attracted to the seeds and berries that grow here. This stage also provides abundant nesting habitat for turkey and non-game bird species. Contrast this with a more mature forest where the dense overstory trees block out much of the sunlight. Often you won't find as much vegetation growing down below the canopy of a mature forest. Young stands are very popular for recreation. The reduced cover and increased abundance of all sorts of animals make these areas excellent for hunting and wildlife viewing. The first five years of a forest's life are crucial to its long-term success. Our foresters strive to give their seedlings the best start they can. Thank you for joining us to learn about early stand management. Next time, we'll learn about how our teams continue to care for our forests and prepare for harvest in late stand management.